So everybody, um, if you've been following the news and you've been paying attention on social media this week or your lack of having social media at certain times this week, you know that um, there was an issue with Facebook where, you know, Facebook went out, Instagram went out, WhatsApp went out, all that. And then there was, it was about the same time that that uh, whistleblower was given, you know, her interview. Not mm-hmm. saying they're related, but, you know. I'm just saying, um, shit happens. And then with um, the YouTuber, um, the one in Arizona, the the van lifer, I think Gabby, I can't remember her last name, um, ended up missing, and they ended up finding her remains and all of that. Oh, stuff. okay. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, with all that stuff, and then the associated with the uh, young brother that was um, missing as well, where the doctor or something yeah, like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember. So you know. Social media has its pluses and its minuses. And I was listening to Breakfast Club and they were talking about, and Charlemagne mentioned that he believes that everybody to some degree is addicted to social media. So with that, man, I thought I'd turn it to you first. How do you feel about social media? And do you think that everybody's addicted to social media? Thanks, Tom. Oh, uh, no. Oh. <laughs> I do think people are, I think just about everybody across the world is addicted to social media in some form or fashion, whether it's Facebook, TikTok, whatever, whatever your poison pick it, you know what I'm saying? Even me personally, I can't go take a shit unless I got my, my phone and I'm either watching TikTok or I'm on fucking Facebook. You know what I'm saying? But however, some people take it a little too far, i.e. your fucking your 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 social media gangsters, they make me fucking sick. They really fucking do. Cause they the hardest motherfuckers on fucking Facebook. But I ain't worth a goddamn a real fucking life, man. Right. And then the 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 people who take everything on social media as reality. Like mm-hmm. if it's on social media, it has to be true. It has to be true. There's no in between mm-hmm. about it that is true. Now those people, they're they're a little fucking over the top. You know what I'm saying? The the social media platforms. Number one, let's take uh let's take MySpace. Let's go back a little further. Let's mm-hmm. go let's go back a little further. You I know that shit was MySpace. So <laughs> I had ahead. a MySpace. So, you know, shit like that was, you know, used to pretty much, you know, reconnect with some folks that you ain't seen in a while, you know, family, friends, stuff like that. And, you know, it developed into something more like people put their personal business out there and some people watch that shit and live for that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's it's entertainment because people are putting their real lives on mm-hmm. social media and people are addicted to that. The drama part of it. nobody mm-hmm. will give you thirty seven, thirty eight thousand fucking likes if you're just, mm-hmm. hey. I'm blessed. I'm living da 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 da. But if you say, "Oh, I can't stand my baby mom. I can't stand my baby daddy. This bitch da 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 da," and then everybody's mm-hmm. fucking on that shit because they love the drama. You know what I'm saying? Facebook is essentially love and hip hop for broke people. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's just that's exactly what it is to an extent, man. But however, some of the people are entertaining, and it's another form of addiction of it is like the talented people because you want to continue seeing these people doing what, mm-hmm. what they're doing and then get addictive because you're like, oh shit, what's from called a drop down new video? Like it's a guy I watch all the time, a uh, cat named Corporate. He mm-hmm. does uh Chicago be like little stories and stuff he be telling. And and that's some good shit, man. I think I, I've I seen him. Looking, he got dreads. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know he's talking about. Yeah, yeah and, and you know, um, I like watching his shit and stuff like that can, yeah, be addictive. Like I said, Name me one one person. I bet even you don't take a shit without your phone in your hand doing something. YouTube, Facebook, something. You you and if you don't got it, you just sitting there like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that, that's really in a nutshell what I think as far as social media being uh, addicting. It, it really fucking is. I know a lot of people's fucking hurt when Facebook and Instagram and everything went down the other day, man. Because I didn't even know. Especially for people like us who, you know what I'm saying, we use that those platforms to pump our shit because essentially mm-hmm. we're essentially we're becoming influencers around this bitch. That's funny. That's but, a scary um, thought. Yeah, right? So, because te- technically we're being influencers. So, mm-hmm. yeah, of course it's addictive, especially people like us who uses these tools to get get up there. And, pe- and people also be like chasing, and then I'm done. They be like chasing. They, they'll put a post up. And then every 30 seconds, they have to check that same fucking post mm-hmm. to see if somebody liked it or commented on it. 
And the people who do that shit, they comment on everybody's comment because mm-hmm. they like Chaston. But that that's all I got, man. How about you? Mm-hmm. Well, I think it's two sides, like always. I think there's the side of the creator who is only showing like the highlight reel of their life, you know. But then you get some people that show the low light reel, like you were saying, like loving hip hop for broke people. And um <laughs> that's gonna go somewhere. Mm, it might. But um, you know, they tend to do that for for the likes too, to get that, you know, that that sympathy vote, if you will. Mm-hmm. And you know, it's gonna be all right. We praying for you. Mm-hmm. Oh, and you know, talk about shit like, oh, it's been so hard. If you knew the struggles I went through today, you had a flat tire. Change the damn flat <laughs> tire and move on. It ain't that your damn car, bad. Your car got declined. Go to work. And damn it. <laughs> you know, shit got repoed. But you in the Go club work. the day before. So priorities much. Right. So, I mean, I think it's that side. But then on the other side, it's, you know, people seeing those highlights and they're like, yo, I want to be like that. Or, you know, you follow these celebrities or these influencers that have become celebrities, if you will, with the large followings. And you're like, mm-hmm. hey, I want to do what they do. Like, I mean, I even listen to like stock YouTubers or whatnot. And you'll see like the popular ones. They'll do certain mm-hmm. things. And then you'll start to see like other not so popular kind of pick up some of their same mannerisms yeah. and do a lot of the same shit that they do. And, you know, I mean, it, it's cool to, you know, emulate if you want to be a creator, but at the same time, do your own shit. Yeah. Um, I mean, that, that's kind of my thing. And, you know, don't get so caught up on what people are showing. Like, I mean, us on Instagram, I mean, we post the cigars and shit that we smoke on when we record. You know how many cigars that I smoke that I haven't taken a picture of that I'm like, mm-hmm. oh damn, I forgot. But yeah. you know, some some people, and I was listening to a live with uh the brother from uh Black uh, uh, Black Starline Cigars, mm-hmm. and he was talking about like in the cigar culture, people are like doing anything for likes, and they'll like post a cigar, don't even smoke it, just to try to you know get them likes and get them shares and all that shit on Twitter yeah. retweet. So. You know, yeah, I no, think everything, it's, everything we post, we smoke. Yep. <laughs> Damn right. Believe that. So, um, I mean, I think it's one of those things where you have to be careful. There is positives, but it's also negatives, too. And you mm-hmm. got to be mindful of those negatives going in. And that's the thing that we have to teach our children, too, that, you know, just because you see it, like Simone will see these damn uh, uh, family vloggers and shit, and they're going to do shit and they're doing 24 hour challenges and shit. And we're like, Simone, we're not doing a damn 24 hour challenge. Mm-hmm. Or, <laughs> right. Or let, let's get some Orbeez and let's fill up a swimming pool. Hell no. Oh God, that shit? She, she watches <laughs> Unspeakable Name too. I don't know who the hell those people are, man. I just watch them to see if the shit's okay. And then mm-hmm. I move on. I don't know who's who. Um, She watches some family of, and they got like four kids and shit. And, they live in like Costa Rica or something. I don't know what the hell they do. But I, I explained to her, it's like, you know, a lot of times this shit is a business for them too. And yeah. she kind of wants to do it too, to mm. some degree, but she wants to record. And I'm like, hey, I'll put you on here. I'll record for you. And then when you get on here to record, she's like. <laughs> well, I don't know, man. She did good on Kid Genius. So well, yeah, she I did. I don't think she'd be the one to just go blank. Well, like I think it was because she was talking to you. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, she has somebody to bounce back and forth off of. Right, right. Uh, it's it's different and weird, and I'm sure you know. It is. To sit it really by yourself is. and be talking to a camera. Yeah. Like, and looking at the camera like, hey, everybody. Yeah, like, them old my first couple of episodes, I heard the, the difference between then and episode 30-something or whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. Like, you could definitely hear the difference. The first couple was fucking weird. Yeah, so, yeah I mean, I get that. and it's, you know, and 30 more is going to even be more different because you get more used to it. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that's kind of what I think. You have to you have to be careful is what I think. I mean, and mm-hmm. realize that just because it's on there don't mean it's real. And right. that's both just the lifestyle of people leaving, leading mm-hmm. the, the facts that they try to bring to you. Mm-hmm. And, you know, just because you see it on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or whatever, you know, if the shit's in the story and it looks good and it looks like it's got some data to it, mm-hmm. verify that shit before you start spewing that shit as fact. I mean, right. that's that's for real. Like, 
do your own research. And I mean, I think that's one of the things we've lost is with so much information at a fingertip, it's hard to weed out what's real and what's not. Mm-hmm. And- that's why I fact check all that shit, bro. If I see it on Facebook or TikTok or something, I always fucking fact check that shit. Cause like, you have to. Some, some of them motherfuckers ain't got nothing else to do. Like they kill mm-hmm. celebrities for no reason. Mm-hmm. Like, no, damn where that celebrity ain't fucking dead. They just mm-hmm. RIP to this person or that person. I'm like, hell no, that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Like they like, got nothing better to do. Like um this week there was a dude on TikTok that was, or maybe last week, I don't remember what it was, but he was basically saying that, um, and for those that aren't in the finances, sorry if it gets a little weird, but he was basically saying that Zillow was going in markets, buying up all the houses so mm-hmm. they can inflate the prices of the houses when they try to resell them. And in a minute, he's trying to explain this shit. And then when you do just a little more research and see the amount of money Zillow has to have to do that. They ain't got it. Not to yeah. do like that. And if they were, it wouldn't work for them too long. Mm-hmm. They'd be out of business. So do some research. And just because it seems legit or if the person seems like they're put together and they're well spoken and they're articulate, same thing. Those are synonyms. But um <laughs> make sure that what you're what you're reading, what you're following, it can actually be backed up by something. And also try to find like something contrary to what you believe. Like sometimes I enjoy listening to people who believe differently than I do on certain topics. Yeah. Just to get that difference of opinion, that devil's advocate approach, just so you're not in the echo chamber, because that right there is some of the most dangerous shit right up there with, you know, um, uh, deflated senses of self, like low self-esteem and shit, you know, like, oh, like, low self-esteem is like one thing that kills people figuratively and literally on social media and then the other side is you know because i can find a couple hundred people that think exactly what i think that shit must be true must be the gospel Mm -hmm. without doing a little bit of research and like you were saying people going for them likes you know they spend a lot of money with psychologists and uh, uh computer scientists and shit to do algorithms and shit and just try to um try to try to get you on their shit because you understand like shit's designed to keep you on it so like yeah. when you own there taking the shit that's exactly what they want to see and you're like oh you like this here's more just like it and i mean mm-hmm. granted that benefits us too but oh, yeah. at the same time i mean if we're saying some stupid shit call us on it too I mean, we can discuss it don't have a problem with that at all please do at all please i mean do. I've learned a lot from the comments. So, I mean, we only got 58 followers, you know what I'm saying? Subscribers. So just imagine when we get bigger, the shit that we can learn. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, just, you know, use it for what it is Mm -hmm. and take breaks. Definitely take breaks. Like if it's your source of income, that's one thing, but at the other end of the spectrum if it's not and you just on there as a time suck realize is this the best use of your time all the time you know Mm -hmm. and if you're not dependent on facebook instagram whatsapp uh we'll throw all of them in there twitter snapchat tiktok you know if they go down and your life is ruined and we're not talking like business just your entertainment life your your value Mm -hmm. for shit is ruined yeah. because they go off. You, you need to take a break, read a book, and watch mm-hmm. the. I think it's on Netflix. It might be on Netflix. It might be somewhere else. Uh, the Social Dilemma. I yeah. had to finish it. it. It talks about social media and how it's designed. And it's a, yeah, mm-hmm. and it's pretty pretty interesting. Like I said, and I only seen like maybe a third of it to half of it. So, mm-hmm. um, it'll make you be like, I don't want any of that shit. Give it all my accounts because. I mean, I don't even post much on social media until we started doing this. Yeah, same. And um, but you can kind of see like who's doing it to like grow and build the following and like all the hacks that you can do to try to get followers and shit fast because Mm -hmm. you're like, hey, look at me. I have 10,000 followers, so I'm important. I am somebody gimmicks man motherfuckers ain't got no real talent man mm-hmm. they, they got all these fucking gimmicks i mean like the stupid and then the stupid shit and then kids 
don't do that slap your teacher challenge or destroy no them. no no man because I, I wouldn't even i wouldn't even be mad if i got a call like uh mr fowler your, your child participated in the slap teacher challenge so the teacher beat his ass well that's what you get i i wouldn't even be mad at the teacher at all i'm, mm-hmm. I'm just being a completely 100 play play stupid games win stupid fucking prizes yeah. So don't don't do that shit. Number one, that's assault. Yeah. Number I mean, two, that's a grown ass person you playing with. Mm-hmm. They slap shit at you. You gonna be looking real stupid. Right. And you wanna call and complain and be crying on on the yeah. internet because somebody didn't beat your ass and you deserve it. Mm-hmm. So you know, be careful. Just realize that all this shit ain't real. Them challenges, man. You know, people losing their lives for challenges. People posting yeah, all. Stupid their personal business you know what i mean airing out if you got a cheating spouse and you airing that shit out on social media mm-hmm. not cool not cool at all and then the 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 era we're in now is regardless of what's happening the the first reaction is oh shit let me pick up my phone mm-hmm. so somebody's choking mm-hmm. on a piece of fucking shrimp mm-hmm. i'm not gonna try to fucking help you call 911 go mm-hmm. get nobody Oh shit! This crazy. Oh. This motherfucker really fucking yes. this shrimp. Like so, that shit drives me nuts, man. To that point, I watched a video I think last week. I didn't mm-hmm. get you on social media, so you can see shit. So, um, it was a dude on a Harley, and um, he had did a wheelie, <clears throat> and he had somebody on the back with him, and just looking at it, what I guess is he wasn't holding on tight enough, and the person like squeezed on for dear life. So they both came off the back of the bike, and the bike kept rolling. At a slow speed, probably another, you know, uh, tenth of a mile down the road. Mm-hmm. And all you see is just everybody. Nobody trying to help. You know, and it pissed me off because, one, nobody went to go check on them right away. And nobody tried to save the bike because the bike was going slow enough, straight enough, long enough, where you could have hopped on and saved that man the insurance claim. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he probably would have took you out to dinner or some shit and you would have. You know that would he would have been your friend for life. Hell, yeah, or that could have been a person who's like a multimillionaire, and you don't even fucking know it, and you set for life because you mm-hmm. help this person. Mm-hmm. You never know what yeah. kind of person you you, yeah. you helping. You know what and I'm saying? Know, I think. Every day, everybody over there recording, man. That's the thing. Yeah, like you see these fights. I'm I'm sick of those. I'm yeah. so sick of those. Like I, I I used to watch the fuck out of them, kind of, mm-hmm. but spe- especially when it's kids. Like you know what I'm saying? Like. No, right. um, if they fighting for something legitimate, let, let them just swap it out, do what mm-hmm. they're gonna do real quick. Let this shit be. But everybody gotta put their fucking phones up for every fucking thing. And the police are using this shit for evidence, people. Yes, <laughs> we've talked about that many a <laughs> yeah. time. They are using this shit for evidence. Mm-hmm. Not only police using it for evidence, employers are using that shit against you for a job. That too. How many they, times they, Go ahead. they check your social media before you come in nowadays? Mm-hmm. They check how, that shit. How many times there been a story about somebody that's been fired because of some shit that they posted on social yeah, media? All the time. All the way up they to celebrities, that. man. Shit yeah. that they done posted or said. Mm-hmm. And Kill they got to go back career. and retract that shit. Or, yeah. I'm sorry, that's not the kind of person that I am. Every time. You, the every the time. same old stupid ass apology. Mm-hmm. So. And then the, la- the last thing I want to add is hacks. The, the life hacks that are all over social media. A lot of them shits don't even fucking work for real. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them shits, once again, it's just a fucking gimmick mm-hmm. to, you know what I'm saying, get more fucking likes and views. I seen one the other day on TikTok where it's like, oh, you waste money on your power. Um, he unplugged the surge protector, the plug, the, the plug of the surge protector inside the surge protector, plugged his laptop and stuff up. And then it was like, see, 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 it's working. But upon further fucking review, if anybody with any common sense notice, this motherfucker takes the surge protector plug out of the surge protector, and that bitch is plugged back into the motherfucking ball. Mm-hmm. Like, they, they do this shit for motherfucking like Some of the hacks are legit, granted, mm-hmm. but a lot of them shits is a bunch of bullshit. Right, and if and, you try them and, hacks, and they don't work for you, that ain't the end of the world, because one, you don't yeah. know how many times they tried that shit first. Exactly, right. that's a good point. That's a good the, point. The power of editing mm-hmm. is a motherfucker, too. And um, also, just if shit don't work, Use yeah. your shit. And sometimes them hacks cause more trouble, take more time, more energy than just doing the shit right the first time. Yeah. Uh the the only other thing I got other than hacks is the food, the food social medias, man. Um, for the people who's actually cooking this shit up, 
appreciate y'all, man, because y'all done came up with some good shit, man. Matter of fact, the latest mm-hmm. thing that's going to get tried is the, the pepperoni pizza egg roll. I just seen it mm-hmm. yesterday. That shit looks fucking amazing. Have oh, they're pretty tried. good. We, we've done those, I think. But on the other hand, the people that got to post, oh, uh, just, you know, whipped up a little something in the kitchen, hashtag food life, hashtag fat shit, whatever the fuck they fucking say. You ain't got to post everything you fucking eating, man. Like, you ain't got to, your whole life does not revolve around fucking uh, social media. And then the clout chases, I'm sorry, mm-hmm. I said I was done, but the clout chases, and this is it, I promise. The, the clout chases irritate the fuck out of me. Like, when there's a big, uh, melanin event going i.e like when george floyd passed away Mm -hmm. you got these individuals who's all uh black power and we gotta do this and we need to do this and all shit is going down i'm gonna make sure i'm ready i'm gonna ride up here and do that that, 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 Mm -hmm. fucking i think it was domigos do anything for clout that's the only that y'all clout chasing me to cut that shit out because if you ain't about that shit man just sit Mm -hmm. the fuck out shut the fuck up and keep your shit off social media. Keep your, your business off there. You know, you yeah. got your, your weapons on there, your jewelry on there. You posting, you know, your license plate and, and wonder why you're getting robbed. Yeah, you're flexing with money that ain't yours. Mm. Mm-hmm. Money that ain't, or they got this whole wide that's only like fucking $31 bills. The hunt is on the front. <laughs> right. Things, that right. shit hurts me. Right. And that shit right there pisses me off because it's like, if you got all that money that you claim that you have, every time, if the money ain't working for you, you wasting money. For mm-hmm. real. If you get got that shit sitting in your hand or you got your money cell phone, you look stupid. And yep. that money is depreciating every day. So, <laughs> yes, sir. Perfect. Perfect.